Hey guys, this is Jaden from Team Shadow Strike coming at you with another deck profile. Um, as we're all aware, like I've said quite a few times now, it seems night because I'm recording so much. Um, set nine was just released here in America, so that means it's time for me to do an updated deck profile for my Great Nature deck. Now, um, Great Nature, as we know, it's not exactly you know the most popular clan. Uh, it's not. Um, in my opinion, it's a very underappreciated clan. I think uh, Great Nature decks are are very well. Um, I, I know any other Great Nature player will certainly agree with me, but um, there was a few things in this set that complemented Great Nature very well. Um, so I have a new deck profile here for you. Um, so not much has changed, but enough to where I felt like I wanted to post an updated deck profile for you. So, anyway, here we go, and I'll explain for a couple of my card choices um, for why it's here and a couple for why they're not. So, anyway, we'll start with the grade zeros. I'm still using Blackboard Parrot. Um, it helps you plus like crazy. I'm not really going to say much more about there. I'm still playing four Triangle Cobra and four Ruler Chameleon for the eight critical triggers. As we're all aware, um, one of the cards that came in this set was Castanet Donkey. It was the draw trigger for uh, Great Nature. I'm still playing my four stand trigger. I like Castanet Donkey, but the problem with my Great Nature build is I play Hamasuke. Uh, I mean Hamske, not Hamasuke. God, I mispronounced it. Hamske. Um and, you know, uh, coiling duck bills. So I draw through the deck and search through the deck pretty quick. So I don't want to play draw triggers to even speed the deck up even more. Um, I mean, I might play test that eventually, but right now I'm going to stick with the stand triggers. But I do have my play set. You know, I mean, there were common cards, so I made sure to pick up a play set so I could try it if I wanted. But I'm going to stick with my four stands, and then I've got my four heels still. Grade ones. I have... Still, my four perfect guards. Four Pencil Squire Ham Skay. So good. Search him out. Thin the deck. Three Coiling Duck Bill. Still, because this is such a good card. Um, two Monoculus Tiger. I was able to pick up an SP Monoculus, which looks so awesome this weekend. And then two Stamp Sea Otter. Such a good card. I don't see the... I mean, if I was going to play any more, I would at max play three, but I just don't have the room. Um... Grade twos. Um, for Binoculus Tiger, we know him as the rear guard that when he attacks the vanguard, you get to juice something by 4,000 points. So, so good. Four copies of Geograph Giant. He's a 10K vanilla, and he's a freaking panda. How cool is that? Um, I mean, he's a panda. What's not to like? And then I play three copies of Compass Lion. He's our 11k beater. He helps us retire our ham skays or what we targeted with our blackboard parrot or things like that just to get our effects off. And with Stamp C on the board, we can just target him and keep him on there as long as we please. I mean, so very versatile card. Now for the grade threes. Here's where the most change was. I was playing three Magnet Crocodile in the deck. Um, now I'm playing three uh, Battle of the Twin Brush Polaris. Um, just in case you're, you're not familiar with Great Nature Clan, I will uh, read Polaris here to, to you. Um, Auto, Vanguard, Limit Break 4. Counter Blast 2. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose another of your Great Nature Rear Guards and stand it. And that unit gets plus 4,000 power until the end of turn, and in the end phase, retire that unit. And also, when he's your Vanguard, if he attacks your opponent's Vanguard, he gains 3k. Um, so Polaris is a good card in my opinion. Uh, I like, uh, I mean, there are, de there are decks that he, there, people have made great nature decks that literally just cater to him. Um, and I, and I might, might do that eventually, but I would need four Polaris to do that. But I wanted just three to start with because I wanted to mix him with Leopold. I like both of these cards. I think they can s both be in the deck and complement each other just as well. Um, you know, uh, I would have probably played four Polaris and three Leopold if I had a fourth Polaris, but um, I don't, so I have to play four Leos and three Polaris. I realize that the two of them will conflict because if Leopold is my vanguard, 
his skills are useless, and if he's my vanguard, then his skills are useless. But there are other ways, you know, I feel that I can still use them both to my advantage um, as far as being able to help juice them up or things like that of that nature. So please don't riddle my comment page with, you know, you can't mix Leopold and Polaris. They, they contradict each other because all their effects are vanguard abilities. I do realize that. I just use it there. Because, you know, some games Polaris will be my vanguard and then Leopold will be my vanguard. So that's why it's there. It's not because I don't want to build two different great nature decks. I wouldn't mind posting two different profiles. But um, I want to see if they can work together. Um, I'm just weird. This is not my main competitive deck. It's mainly a deck I just use for casual play. So, you know, I've been meaning to use this in a tournament before. Um, but anyway... I like it. I'm going to try it. So, you know, do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, but anyway, um, guys, this has been an update on my Great Nature deck. Um, I don't know what I'd technically call this, Polaris Leopold, but um, I'm just going to call it Great Nature. Um, anyway, um, the deck still plays well. Um, I play tested it in one game against somebody. It still works, um, you know, but... It gives me an option of which grade three I can alternate between. Um, Polaris, you can use the Leopold. The Leopolds is your things that you're going to juice. Um, swing with the Leopold and his booster for like 18. Then swing with, uh, or you could swing with, say, um, Binoculus Tiger and an 8K at your opponent's vanguard. Give four to Leopold, and um, they're going to guard it or not. Then use Le uh, Polaris's skill when you attack with him and juice the card that you juiced with uh, Binoculus and then use Polaris as Limit Break to stamp Binoculus back up and juice him up even more. So there's so much things you can do with the deck. So I think it is you can you can combo the decks together very nicely. So I'm going to attempt it for a while um, because, like I said, um, I'd probably be a little more committed to either Leopold or Polaris if it was going to be my main deck, but it's not. Um, I'm also trying to pick up great um, the locks bit the locks ride chain because I do like the locks chain. I have everything except the grade threes. I still need three of the grade threes. Um, um, I'll try and pick those up sometime. I know they're not that much, but I do want to have those as well. But anyway, guys, <clears throat> because if because now with Polaris out, there's three main builds for um, Great Nature, and I think all three of them are good decks. Not by any means top tier decks, but they're good decks. Uh, but anyway, guys, this has been my Great Nature deck. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what you liked and hate, hated about the deck in the uh, comment section below. Tell me any changes that you'd make. Um, tell me um, who you like better, Polaris or Leopold or wh and why. Um, so anyway, just let me know. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you all later.